Hey guys, this is Karan from Technofall.com and today we will see how to repair the Samsung LCD monitor. This monitor had one issue that it stopped detecting an input signal so the monitor would just go blank. So we will just go ahead and disassemble this monitor. If you have any other monitor, you can follow the same steps and see what is the issue. So these are the only things that you will need, some screwdrivers, both plus and minus. Let's go ahead and disassemble this monitor. So to start with disassembling, we first need to remove the base. So the base is attached to the monitor with a screw below it. So I'll just go ahead and zoom in. Now you can see. So you don't need, even need a screwdriver to remove this screw. Just uh, pull the clamp and rotate it anti-clockwise. So the screw is out. We'll just keep it aside. Now the next thing is the circular base. We'll just pull it out from the stand and it is out easily. So let's just keep this aside too. We'll need it while reassembling. Now the only thing that remains is the stand. Stand is not fixed with any screw or anything. So you can just pull it out. You need to hold the monitor very hard and you just need to pull it out with some force. So as you can see, I have uh, removed the stand. This is a stand with no attachment. Okay, so let's just keep that aside. The next thing that uh, we will remove is the front panel. The panel with the Samsung logo. Okay, so we will need a minus screwdriver to remove this. So this is the screwdriver that you will need. We'll just go ahead and insert this screwdriver between the gaps of the front panel and the back panel. I'll just insert it and twist it. So you'll hear a clicking sound every time you open a lock. So you can see this wire coming out from the front panel that is basically the connection for the touch capacitive buttons on the front. So we just need to remove it from the back panel and then we can remove the whole front panel thing. So I've just turned over the monitor onto the back side. So we can remove the back panel easily. It has got no attachments or screws. So we'll just remove it and it's pretty dusty. We'll just keep that aside. Now you can see the, that uh, white wire that was coming from the front panel. So we need to remove that pin. Okay, you just need to press the pin and pull it. That will just come out. I'll just lift the main monitor thing and slide the front panel below it. Okay. So now it is removed, the rectangular front panel thing with the wire connection. So you can see those connections basically that are all uh, touch capacitive buttons. I'll just flip it over. Yeah, now we can see it. So we just need to keep it aside too. So the only thing that we uh, is remaining is now the main monitor. So the next thing we are going to remove is the left metal thing that basically covers the wire and connections below it from short circuit or any dust now you can see the four wires that are going into the main monitor so the extreme ones are blue color and the middle ones are red color remember this while just plugging in so we need to just press the latch and pull the wires to remove this connection So all these connections are now removed. So I'll just slide the monitor and you can see there is one more connection. So this is the blue one. Okay. So there are two locks at the extreme ends. You just need to press it and pull the wire. Now the central part can be removed easily as we have removed the wire connections. I'll just flip it over and see what's inside. So on the right we have the SMPS circuit and on the left we have the monitor circuit. So to just flip over the power circuit we need to remove some screws, some connections. So before that you need to remove this wire from the white connector.
Now the next thing to remove are these screws. So we have total three screws in all. Now we have removed all the screws. So this plate is very important. Don't misplace it as it helps in our thing. We'll just uh, flip over the power circuit now to see what's on the back side. So here we go and we can see many components, electric components. So this is the place where you give the power. Okay. And this whole circuit converts it to a suitable voltage that can be supplied to the monitor circuit. So from there to the monitor circuit. So basically the monitor circuit is where our VGA cable goes in. So I'll just show you the VGA port. So this is the VGA port. To start debugging this circuit, we first need to check capacitors. So which are the capacitors? The rounded cylindrical small component are the capacitors. We have many on this circuit. We have one big one too. So what happens is uh, in power fluctuation, the capacitor gets fused. So how to know which capacitors are fused? We can easily know that by checking the top part of the capacitor if it is uh, swollen up a bit so you can know you have to replace those so i'll just uh, zoom in you can see more clearly in my case you can see uh, those three capacitors that are now replaced as uh, they are in the black color and the previous one were in blue so i'll just show you one faulty capacitor and you can have an idea how it looks so I'll just focus on the top part and you can see it is a bit swollen up so now the capacitor is fused and of no use you can buy these capacitors uh, in any electronic component shop so that has just cost me 20 rupees i desoldered and resoldered the capacitors using the soldering iron now it is time to reassemble the monitor so the first thing that we are gonna do is flip the power circuit and slide it in the proper slot So it is now fixed. The next thing that comes in is the wire. So just attach it with the white clip. Okay, so now here is the metal strip. Uh, this is the notch. Just put it in and attach it. Now this metal strip uh, does the job of earthing. So make sure you are attaching this strip or else if you forget it, so you will get a reverse current. Time to reinsert the screws. We have total three screws. So now we are done with the screws. We'll put the central part back to the LCD monitor. We are back to the LCD panel and the power circuit. So I'll just flip over the power circuit so that we can attach the four wires. I hope you remember that uh, we have to attach the two blue ones on the extreme end and the red ones uh, on the middle. So I'll just go ahead and plug those in. Now we are done with the wire connections, uh, just put back that metal thing and cover the wire, I will just slide it inside the main power circuit. Make sure you attach it uh, properly. The next connection that is the signal cable that comes from the monitor circuit. So just plug it inside the LCD panel and make sure it is locked. Now let's reattach the front panel and the back panel. So the first thing that we will attach is the front panel. So I'm just gonna slide it below the LCD panel. And I'll just put it back inside the frame. So 
now we need to attach the white clip back so that uh, that is the connection for the front touch uh, capacitor buttons so i'll just plug it in nice and easy and i'll just uh, reattach the tape which will hold the cable properly well that is all done now we need to put back the back panel so here comes the back panel just place it on the top and press it so that all the locks are in the place so i'll just flip it over and i'll just press the back panel against the front panel to lock it properly from all the sides now we need to attach the stand so it is very easy just hold the monitor tightly and slide this stand back on so we are done with the stand and it is now time to attach the circular base i'll just take the base and fix it in the proper position so that is done now we need to reinsert the screw so just insert it and rotate the screw in the clockwise direction to fix it after this our um, ass assembling of monitor is done now so we'll just check it if the issue is resolved so as you can see our check signal dialog box has now appeared which was not the case previously so that means we have fixed the samsung lcd monitor so if you like my video please hit the like button do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. This is Karan signing off from technofall.com.